Hey guys, this is Evelyn. I recently competed in an MPC bikini bodybuilding competition and in my past life, I used to be a professional chef. So I definitely track my nutrition and I know a lot about recipe formulation while also optimizing taste and texture. In this series, I'm going to make ice cream recipes for the Ninja Creamy that are 200 calories or less. All right, let's talk about today's recipe formulation. All right, so today's flavor is tomato. I remember when I was young, my mom would actually just blend up raw tomato and uh, just put some honey and ice and make me drink it. And actually it was really delicious. And tomatoes are inherently sweet. So I thought this would be a good experiment. I've also definitely done desserts with tomatoes. So I know it's going to work. At first, I was actually just going to buy plum tomatoes and then uh, peel the skin because I want to have a very smooth texture and then puree it and use that as a base. Then my second thought, which I knew was going to work better, but I just didn't want to put on the work. Like when you get cherry tomatoes, obviously you peel them first and you dehydrate them slightly. The flavor intensifies and so does the sugar content. So it becomes extremely sweet. It almost turns into like a raisin version of tomatoes when you semi dry them once it's peeled. So that was an approach that I could also take, but let's face it, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> okay, I'm not lazy. I just don't want to spend that much effort on it. You know, another another element that I want to bring into these 200 calorie recipes is that I want it to be really easy. I want it to be really quick. Of course, I have the knowledge and experience to make it as complicated as possible, but I actually want to take a more instant route if I think I'm going to get the same desired effect. So what I ended up using for this tomato recipe is that at Whole Foods, I found this. Let me show you. Organic diced tomatoes that are fire roasted. So first of all, I didn't have to cook anything. I didn't have to peel the tomatoes. It's already cooked and it's already roasted. So it's going to have a more sweet and intense flavor. And I think this is going to work. And if you actually look at the contents in here, it has a, com you can see that there is complete, how do you focus this? Is that there is charring. There is definitive charring in here that it, you know, it has been grilled. Like when you eat sweet peppers that are grilled, the flavor is intensified, right? So I think that's the same. This has definitely been on the grill. And as far as I can tell, this also does not have the skin. So it's going to work perfectly when I turn this into a tomato puree. Like always, when you make ice creams and sorbet, don't forget to add your acid. I think lime juice is going to work very well. So I'm going to do tomato and lime. I also like to add a little bit of dairy to sorbet bases for creaminess of texture and taste. And also it will prevent some of the iciness of the crystallization of water molecules. I'm actually not going to add a lot of water. I looked at the contents of this thinking I was going to do 50% tomato to 50% water, but given that the caloric content is so low, um, I actually just decided to use uh, the full amount, 240 grams of this, which is only 50 calories, which amounts to 10 grams of carbs. So I think that's going to be perfect. Uh, I am going to use a little bit of water to make sure I hit like the 300 to 350 mil mark, which is what has been the best amount to fill up the Ninja Creamy Pint. For the stabilizer, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to do Xanthan. I've been playing around with how much I really want to add to it. Um, I've been going with one gram, but I think for this, I want to lessen it. And I know that even 0.5 grams is going to give me the effect that I want. But for here, I went with 0 0.75 grams. For the sweetener, I decided to go with sucralose. It has been working really well. Um, and I only used one gram. One gram goes a long way. I might even reduce it further and further as I try other recipes down to maybe like 0.7 or 0.8. For sugars, there are a lot of options. I have a lot of options in my cupboard right now. I have erythritol. Um, I have like different 
versions of Swerve and so forth. But even if they're zero calories, there are carbs in them. And when I track it, it just, it just looks crazy when I do it on my fitness pal, because sometimes it says like, I didn't meet my caloric intake yet, but all, like I've used up all my carbs for the day, right? And the thing is, I don't wanna use an item that doesn't count the carbs because there's still carbs, whether, you're, whether your body decides to digest it or not. So I prefer to just use sucralose because yes, it does calculate the amount of carbs, but you're using like such a tiny amount that it really doesn't add much in terms of calories. Like I told you, I'm using one gram and I'm thinking about using maybe like 0.5 or 0.75 grams. And that is like plenty sweet enough for an entire like 350 ml base of ice cream. For toppers, if I was feeling fancy and if I felt like putting in some work, then I would get cherry tomatoes, blanch them and semi dry them. So they're like the little raisin chewy bits and then kind of mix it in. And that would have been my mix ins but we all know that's not gonna happen. It's only like Tuesday and I'm tired, so not gonna do that. But sweet tomato based sorbet, I think sweet and spicy is going to work really well. Um, I might try it with like chili oil maybe, but you know, obviously that's not gonna be under 200 calories because chili oil is very high in calories. So I think I'm gonna go with tagine or some sort of chili spice that I have in the cupboard. So we'll see what I end up eating it with. Um, those are my mix-in options for now. And we'll see how it turns out. I'm super excited. I tasted the base. It tastes exactly as I had um, envisioned. Maybe I'll just top it off with a little bit more acid, definitely some lime or lemon zest, or I could even top it off with reduced balsamic. I think it's gonna go really well. Oh my gosh, feeling super fancy right now. Tomato sorbet. I, ma I did a quick maceration of cherry tomatoes as my mix-in with lemon zest, lemon juice, a little bit of a sugar-free syrup. So you can see there, they taste very candied. I have lemon juice and I have my handy dandy chili and citrus. One thing I'm realizing is that I'm definitely gonna get citric acid because I really want that in powder form to balance out all the recipes without having to add lemon juice. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is good. This is really good. With tomato sorbet, I think there's a fine line between, you don't want it to taste like spaghetti sauce, right? or pizza sauce, but you want it to taste like fruity and light and refre refreshing. So it's really important to really kick up the acid. Mm. It's good. Mm, definitely need this. You know what's another good idea? Which I definitely tried with ice cream <clears throat> for spice to use green Sichuan oil on like vanilla ice cream. Oh my God, it's so good. The texture of this is also really good. Um, the way I spun it, actually today I did it by accident. Usually I do sorbet function and then re-spin it a few times, but I just did sorbet twice. And then it was like pretty much almost perfect after the, after the second round. And I did one final re-spin. This only has xanthan in it as a stabilizer. So it's working. I, I think the amount of sugar is fine. It's just that it really needs to be balanced out with plenty of acid. So the big note here is citric acid in powder form and always having a little bit of spice as some topper. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's definitely not a fall, fall dessert. It's definitely a summer dessert, but I don't know. This, this one's good. This one's a keeper. Definitely gonna make this again. If you have any other kind of slightly odd Look at how cute this bowl is. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's the perfect dessert bowl size. I would actually serve something in my restaurant like this. Obviously it's not the right season, but you know what would also be good? Tomato and ginger. That would be, 
That would be good. Oh my gosh. This one is a success. Definitely a success. I'm glad I used the fire roasted canned tomatoes because it does make sure that the tomato flavor is, in, is intense without me having to reduce it or cook it down further. And it was really convenient. It was already canned and prepared. I just had to put everything in a blender and then boop, 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 that was it. Oh, okay. You guys should try this. You guys should definitely try this recipe. This one's a keep. I have notes on improvements, but overall I'm very happy with this. So cute, I love this bowl. I bought it on Amazon. All right, see you next time guys. Bye.